Fear is rarely seen as a positive emotion. It often suggests feelings of danger, uncertainty, and confusion. Fear is crippling. It can narrow our perspective and diminishes a hopeful future. Let's be honest, none of us like it. Faith, in contrast, is considered positive. It can be descriptive, he has faith. It can be an identity, mom is a woman of faith. Faith is noble. You might think of someone who has overcome many challenges or who remains optimistic in the face of impossible odds. On the surface, fear and faith seem to be polar opposites. We believe that real faith only comes after conquering fear. But is that really the case? Does a life of faith really mean that it has to be completely free and devoid of fear? What if instead of viewing fear as an emotion to be avoided, we viewed it as a springboard that launches us towards faith? What if faith isn't the absence of fear, but action taken in spite of it? After all, the very act of having faith often arises from moments of fear. The Bible is filled with stories of men and women who did the impossible not because they were fearless, but because their fear drove them to rely on a power greater than themselves. One of those men was Gideon. In the book of Judges, God calls Gideon to defend his people from enemy tribes who were raiding their crops and livestock, keeping the people of Israel in perpetual poverty. Filled with doubt, Gideon, who is of low standing in his family and in his tribe, questions whether this call is even meant for him at all. He asks God for signs of confirmation, and God provides the proof through a series of miracles. But as the magnitude of his task becomes clear, Gideon's doubt turns to fear. God's instructions were to charge directly into the enemy's camp without any weapons and with only 300 soldiers against their thousands. It seemed like a suicide mission that would put fear in the hearts of the bravest among us. But we do know how the story ends. God delivered Gideon's enemies into his hands. Fear isn't the opposite of faith, it is the birthplace of it, a natural part of life is that we're just around the corner from an unknown surprise or an uncertain outcome. These things naturally give rise to fear. Therefore, fear and faith remain these connected emotions that accompany us throughout our journey. As we continue to act in faith, despite adversity, we grow stronger in our faith and build resilience and fortitude. It's not that fear disappears. Instead, we transform into people who handle fear better. The only kind of fear that is unacceptable to God is the one that paralyzes us, keeps us frozen in place. It is not the feeling of fear itself. It is forward movement and action, even in fear, that keep us rooted in faith. <laughs>